AMU slope sensors on it. So dog bone, stick, boom, and body. That's basically looking at all the components of the machine. So slightly different to the older style sensors. It's a commercial measurement unit. So it's actually detecting motion as well as slope, roll, and pitch. Um, that's basically reading from the boom out to the bucket. We got our two GRA3 antennas up on the back. Auxiliary antenna here, looking at the heading of the machine. Main antenna gets our position and our height. So when we, the auxiliary looks when we spin, it'll see us spinning on the spot like this. GPS antennas. So this has the GPS boards and a GPS antenna in it. Uh, this new platform that we're using is actually all running on a CAN bus. So everything you see is on the CAN on that, on that bus. So our main and auxiliary, all four of our sensors. Our MCX is the CAN drive. And then we also have a uh, we also have a driver for our valve too, which is on that same can, and our two joysticks too on the can. But basically, nice and simple. This guy unplugs. You can snap this off. I won't do it right now because it's powered on. But these snap off. Easy to take. So you can swap the tops from side to side, machine to machine. Nice and easy. Pretty cool. UHF antenna right here for base station cell antenna if you want to get your corrections off a network. We install a valve so that we're able to automate the boom in the bucket there and this is our Topcon valve right here. 14 hoses. We got 12 of them for our, for our different functions and then one for tank and one for pressure. These are all the hoses they run in and tee into the machine's pilot valve. You can see our, our uh, Danfoss controller right here up in there so you can see all on the same CAN bus these guys here are running back to our MCX and communicating with our screen. One big difference from our previous or our indicate system not previous uh, is you can see we've got aftermarket Topcon joysticks uh, on the right joystick here we got M123 that's for any existing functions that were already on for the machine from the the original joystick we got F1, 2, and 3, which are actually for our Topcon for the software. We can set these up simply right here. Tools, configure joysticks, Topcon. We got our right and left. We got uh, two functions for each button. You can do a quick press, select what you want it to be, whether it be the bucket reference where you take elevation from or topo shots, and you can hold down too. Same again, change different functions. So it gives you six software features, quick features. Uh, underneath, there's a blue and a red button, if you can see that. Red button's for our offset, so we can offset our design quite simply. Red will be down, blue is up, so it brings that surface up or down depending on how much you want to cut. Uh, left joystick, we have bucket control, so whether we want, when we're running an automatic, if you have bucket control on, whatever we set that bucket to as we reach out, the bucket's going to adjust with it and pull grade and bucket will adjust. If you turn bucket control off, whatever we set the bucket to out there, it's gonna stay like that and actually curl with the stick. It will still hold grade, but the bucket won't adjust. Uh, and then these are our auto buttons. There's two yellow. You can do it two different ways. You can actually double click the two buttons and then automatic's gonna stay on and then press the front one to turn it off or you can do momentary so you just actually hold down on the automatic button and then pull on the stick. When we start pulling on the stick, our boom and bucket are gonna adjust depending if we have bucket control on and follow our design. Give ourselves a little bit of angle. So I'm just gonna use the momentary automatic and I'm just, hold on a sec, I gotta set my offset here. I'm a little bit low, I got a little bit too much cut there. So I'm just gonna hit my auto, I'm gonna pull back on my stick And she's gonna follow grade. As you can see, the bucket's curling with the stick. It's not adjusting at all. That's the bucket control off. It's gonna come up to our slope and then follow our flat design across the top. Let go of my auto, curl out, get rid of my material wherever I want. Then we can do it with bucket control on. Bucket control on, the bucket's gonna stay in this position, whatever I started in. And it's gonna adjust to keep to grade. So again, 
hit auto, pull back on my stick. As you can see, now my bucket's staying in the position it started in. It's gonna curl to match the design. Up and across the top of our design that we built yesterday. Pull her out. We can, uh, we can also actually push material back down as well, down the slope, if I hit my autos. I can actually operate in both directions. As you can see. I'm gonna take a little more material here if I can. quicker the system definitely likes a little more material on the bucket as you pick up a little bit of speed but as you can see it's following our exact design we have a slope coming up into a flat the machine will just follow exactly what it is Handy feature, especially on something flat. If you're trying to pull grade and just get a nice finish on the flat, we can just keep our bucket control on, push it down to flat, hit the auto, pull it in. My bucket's gonna stay nice and flat. I'll pull it in from here. There we go. So she'll adjust and stay flat. Come in and out of the cut. That's the basic operation, man.